are looking at the Māori seats. Yeah. And with the Nats sitting at 45.7, a couple of friends from the Māori Party wouldn't do them any harm at all, presuming the Māoris want to get back into the waka with the National Party. But how are very Look, early it's, indications? It's, it's very early, but if I was the Māori Party, I'd be very, very worried. For the first for the first time, Third Dorf Level is not ahead in that seat, and Wairiki Tamati Coffee is ahead of him. And uh, he... Earlier polls had showed that he was catching up on him and perhaps he's done enough work but I know there's only 2% of that, there's only 695 votes in that uh, pool of 20,000 and possible yeah, votes yeah, in there yeah. but still he's 100 ahead. Uh, uh, Labour is ahead in all of the Māori seats so that is quite telling. And, and the Tai Hauaru, that was going to be the seat that I was going to watch because that would have meant whether Marama Fox had a second chance of coming back in on the party list. This, this, um, this is really confusing. So, so Te Tai Hauaru used to be Tariana Turia's seat. Yes. It's currently held by Labour. Adrian Rudafi. And in the earlier polls, uh, Adrian Rudafi w was not winning that seat. So uh, Howie Tamati, who's the former league star who's standing for the Māori Party, he was ahead in the Māori television poll. So there was an idea that they might have had two electorate seats, but to have two electorate seats, you have to have a greater party vote. And that meant that Marama Fox would have to work harder on the party vote. It's looking like perhaps, you know, if the party vote doesn't get up there and if they don't win Te Taihaua, Auru and Waiariki, they may not come back to Parliament. Yeah, boy, those Māori seats are going to be fascinating. And we should say, as Mihi pointed out, it's very, very, very early days.